It's an Angel BRFM sat course in Cardiff Boogies. Seems like the second home to me. And of course, with a band that's played here before, Grand Magus. Yes. I see, it's hard to figure out how you actually say it. Yeah, Magus. Grand Magus, yes. And of course, I'm with J. JB. JB. Yeah. And there's only, only a three piece band. Yeah. It's very unusual, isn't it? Three piece. Well, I guess it's more the name, common than. Well, I was going to say, with a name like Grand Magus, you expect it to be... Nine people. Nine. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we make up for it, you know. Well, just listen to you doing the sound check now, and I think, brilliant sound. Cool. Brilliant Thanks. sound. And I've listened to, well, I've not actually listened to, but I've been playing your one track you've got out now, single that I've had through, is Silver Moon. Oh, really? Yeah, Fantastic cool. little track, that is. Oh, I've got cool. to be honest. Played it last week and the week before. It just seems to be one of those ones. But you can play. Good stuff. Because you class yourselves, um, is it as... Black metal, stoner metal, heavy metal, just plain rock. Well, just plain metal, I would say. Plain metal. Yeah. It covers all the general. Yeah, yeah, general yeah, yeah, side, yeah, yeah. So you're not from the UK, you're not from, you're from? We're from uh, Stockholm. Uh, we're based in Stockholm. Uh, Roma lives in Hamstad, but we're a Swedish band. Yeah. And you're over, I said, over in the lovely town of Cardiff. Yeah. As I said, the second time you play in Cardiff. I think yeah. the last time you were here, you played the uni. Yeah, the, the university, yeah, yeah. That was back yeah. last year. Yeah. Crowd take well to you over in... Uh, it was great. I mean, uh, that whole tour we did with Eminem Arth was great. And uh, I think the last show on that tour was here in Cardiff, actually. And uh, as I remember it, it was great. Because you played a few of the festivals as well. Uh, I think at Bloodstock, wasn't it? We played Bloodstock last year, yeah. Yeah, it was a fantastic set as well, because I caught you up there as well. Yeah, we had a great time. A great time. Do you enjoy being over on the road? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, this UK tour so far has been brilliant for us. Uh, the crowd response has been uh, overwhelming. Really, we we didn't we didn't expect that. So when it's that good, you know, it's a joy to be on the road. So you enjoy being on the road with the crowd you got following you now in the yeah, UK. Yeah. So they they've taken to you really well. The album sales has been doing well in the UK. Well, I, you know, I don't really keep much track yeah, of fig figures of it, and but stuff, uh, but uh, I think it's, you know, the response has been so great, so. Being on good yeah. though for yourselves. Good following abroad as well in Europe? Yeah, I, I think we have a pretty strong, um, you know, strong grip in, in Germany and, um, you know, like, uh, yeah mainly Germany, I guess. Uh, we don't play that much in Sweden, actually, so we play mainly mainland Europe. So you don't play in your own home, hometown no, area, you much, just no. travel away. Yeah. Is the music hard over in Sweden, though, for like metal bands and that? I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't really care that much about other bands, really. It's uh, just what's happening with the Yeah, songs, yeah, so. this is, you know, I care about Grand Vegas and what other people do. You got any festival lines up for yeah. earlier, but yeah. later on this year, right? Yeah, yeah. well, the festival, the, the festival start uh, during the summer, obviously. So, I guess uh, the first stuff we'll do is um, like uh, from May and onwards. So, there's going to be a few festivals, definitely. In the in the plans, they're not saying yet, though. No, that's going to be out on your Facebook page, or yeah, I'm sure, com? I'm sure, yeah, yeah. So they can find out through grandmagus.com. Uh, yeah, and also probably the, the Facebook page is probably updated a little more often. Updated <laughs> <Because, laughs> more often? Yeah, because there's some, someone else does that for us. So, so you leave them do yeah, all the work on yeah, it. Because yeah. I but, checked out your main homepage, your .com. Yeah. There's not much on there really, is there? Well, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're musicians and we're a metal band. We're not an uh, internet So you leave that uh, for service. everyone else yeah, to sort yeah, through. You know. I'm not, you know, you know, that's not the reason I started <laughs> no, playing No, you're more technical on playing the guitar and working on the music side of it. And well, you know, I mean, uh, uh, there's so much going on with um, the whole information society and, and, you know, if I wanted to be a communications officer, I wouldn't be playing in a metal band, you know. Uh, I want to play in the metal and, you know, I want to reach as many people as possible, of course, but I don't want to spend my time in front of the computer, you know. I was so, going to say, what would you rather do, like, if he wasn't doing metal? I'd probably be uh, like a forest ranger. Out in the wild, so just yeah. freedom, peace. Yeah, and, yeah, and also, you know, I'm very interested in, you know, wildlife preservation and things like that. So, 
How did you guys all get together? Oh, that was a long time ago. Me and Fox, the bass player, we've known each other for a long, long time. And we started the band together and I think the, um, the, the, the actual beginnings of Grand Magus as a band were started around 98, 99, I would say. And uh, we did our first album in 2001. It's not so long ago, really. Well, no. I mean, I don't think there's not that many bands uh, that have stuck together for such a long time as we have. I mean, we've changed drummers, but um, you know, we we've been putting out albums regularly since 2001 and been touring, and you know, we have never stopped. So, would you prefer to be out on the road than sat down recording? Or they all have their charm. Um, it's, uh, you know, recording is usually a really difficult process, but when the end result is good, it's, it's totally worth it, you know, and uh, it's always interesting. You always, uh, it's great when you get something on tape, uh, figuratively speaking, and uh, it kind of surprises you in a good way, you know. So that's very enjoyable, but playing live obviously is a totally much more, you know, uh, uh, what should you call it, like a feral experience almost. You totally know? different when you yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, it's not, it's not, there's no intellectual process behind it, it's just, you know, get out heart there. and soul, you know. Get out and play. Yeah. Do you not like to chill just before you go on stage or do you, is there a certain routine you do or do you just... Yeah, we, we try to, uh, you know, get in the mood, we're not sitting around you know, just like this, we kind of get, get hyped up. up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then get out there and just give yeah. it your all. Yeah. Can't hope. What's next on the plans now for you, yourself and the band? Well, we have, uh, counting tonight, we have five more gigs on this um, European tour, which is uh, comprised of 20, 20 gigs. So we've been out since, uh, uh, you know, uh, early February and uh, last gig is on Sunday in uh, London so after that we're gonna go back to Sweden and um, start working on new material actually so you're not gonna take time out to chill out or anything like that well there's time for that as well uh, uh, absolutely I mean uh, this is not uh, something we do 24 hours a day you would if you could though not necessarily, you know, I think uh, I want to keep it as fresh as possible and I feel that in order not to be, to repeat yourself too much or become too much of a machine, you know, or a robot, it's important to do other things. To so take our break away from each other? Definitely, yeah. Do so you still hang out when you're back home and that? Or do you yeah, yeah, you know, if, if uh, you know, mates are playing, we go and see them, you know, and have a few drinks and things like that, so... So when's the next album out? Well, the plan is to have a new album ready for release in early early next year, actually. Good. So... Um, the 2014 yeah. new album. Touring again then with that one? I should think so, yes. Is it just one of those bands you just love being out on the road? Well, I mean, I like... Not in itself. I, I love being on the road when it works and, and when you feel that you, you know, really can connect with people, you know, uh, with the music. If we didn't, I wouldn't be on tour, you know, just for being on tour. It's, uh, being on tour is, is a job like anything else. Uh, it might look, I mean, I'm sure other people have said that, you know, that it might, must be like a you know, 24 hour day party, but it's not. If, if you're gonna, every night you have to, to give the audience an experience that they paid money for, and for them, every night is a special night, you know, and it has to be for us as well, which means that you have to be di disciplined, you know, you can't just, you know, fuck around with uh, just too get much out to there. drink and drugs and things like that. You have to be disciplined, you know, Do you at work? least we have to. Do you work out in the gym or anything like that, or do you just do mostly work out when you're on stage? 
Well, I, I, I certainly do some physical exercise, absolutely. Yeah. If you have to, at my age. <laughs> I know, I was like, uh, younger than me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty old myself, like you look younger than me. Because, of course, see, being at Bloodstock is such a big stage, you've got so much room to run around on. And then you've got someone like here now tonight in Boogies, it's a, such a smaller stage. Yeah. It's like, still enough room because you're only a three piece band. Yeah, and also, you know, since I both play the guitar and sing, I, there's not, we're not, you know, three acrobats. We perform our music, you know, but it, there's no, I mean, uh, I have to stand by the mic, you know. So the alternative would be to wear a headset, and that is not heavy metal. That doesn't so look heavy metal, no, does it? Not acceptable. You could get one of those Madonna Basques in, and wear no, no, no. it just wouldn't look right, would it? I mean, headset on a heavy metal wouldn't no. wouldn't go, would no. it? So you so. enjoy? Do you come out and meet the fans after? Yeah, absolutely. Every chance we get. So you just love coming out and meeting up with the fans and well, chat it's with them. you know they've come here for us, and and I want to. Uh, if they want to talk to me or if they want to have things signed, I, you know, we try to accommodate them as much as you can. Sometimes it's not possible, you know. But you like to you yeah. get out there. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to let you get down now to chill out and relax a little Cheers bit before you get on stage. So, JB, it was a pleasure talking to you. And anyone wants to know what's happening with yourselves now, they can check out your Facebook page. Yeah. Or they can just listen to my show and tour dates. The festivals you're going to be playing will soon come out. I'm sure Absolutely. I'll get a notice on them. The latest album, whenever that's ready, when you're touring next year, I will definitely give it a show to Cool. For you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. I'll get you now. All right.